Good morning, Internet. Craig Chamberlain here, and you're watching IT Life, where you get a little bit of a snippet into the real world of IT. I've been in IT for almost 10 years, been really enjoying it so far, been a computer nerd my whole life, and this is what I do. Now I get an opportunity to share that experience with you on how we do things in the real world of IT. And I'm excited to say that I've changed my studio setup. Um, thanks to the wonderful support of patrons, I'm able to invest a little money in equipment and make things kind of look better and appear better. Uh, and uh, let me give a shout out to the patrons. If you're not yet a patron, make sure you decide to become one. Patrons help the show go and grow. And uh, basically, they help contribute to make sure the show can be dedicated strictly to you guys, the community, and I can answer your questions. Now, I want to give a special shout out to Jacob Williams, who is our top patron. He is a uh, one of the basically one of the biggest patrons that we have out there so far. And the reason I wanted to give him a shout out is because he did make a, a, a significant pledge, and I've actually had the pleasure to learn and uh, get to know Jacob over the past six months. He's been a committed member of the show and of the community. And uh, he runs a little program on called Wild Academy, and he does Ruby tutorials. Now, if you guys are into web programming at all, or any kind of programming at all, make sure you check out Ruby. It is a very powerful and fun language to learn. A buddy of mine, actually, out of college, learned how to program in Ruby. Makes really good money, works out west, um, and it really has a lot of potential, uh, especially as a single individual. The power of the language is very, very prominent. Uh, and Jacob Williams has a huge amount of tutorials over there for that. And I recommend you check them out. They're very good. He's very entertaining and uh, not boring to watch. So check out Jacob. And I thank you, all of you guys. Uh, so today is different because I wanted to kind of go over the new equipment we got. I'm excited. Um, it's excited to see the show grow because we've gotten the first goal. So the foundation has been laid. We laid the first goal. And uh, I'm, of course, using the Blue Snowball microphone. Uh, which is the audio microphone that I use. You can get those for like $60. Uh, the lighting that I'm using is actually, hang on a second. It's one of these little LED light kits, and these are not cheap. Okay, I bought two of these, and uh, I bought these little boots, like $2 boots attachments for them, and they're hanging upside down on my monitors right now. Uh, and this is a VidPro uh, Model Z-96K. Uh, it's got two filters on it. It's got a diffusing filter, which is white, and then it's got a tungsten filter, which gives you that nice natural light to it. Uh, and these suckers were 150 a pop, and I've got two of them. So it's a two-point lighting setup now, uh, and uh, basically it, it works out really well. I also finally uh, bought my new C920 uh, webcam, which is the HD C920. It is a, it is a Logitech C920 webcam. And that's essentially what you're looking at with my studio. The software that I'm using is the, I get this question a lot. People always ask me, Camtasia Studio? Uh, and Camtasia Studio I use because I like to be able to migrate from my screen to the capture. And uh, the beautiful thing about Camtasia is it lets you do that very easily. Uh, if you're in a pinch and you want to do something economically, I recommend using Google Hangouts on Air and just invite yourself to the Hangout and that'll actually let you record your video and everything, and it'll upload it directly to YouTube for you. Uh, but if you've got the time and the resources, Camtasia Studio is well worth the investment, especially if you do screencasts. So it was an interesting weekend for me. We've been, we've been doing really well. If you've been following the show, um, we have an expo coming up, and it's the Industrial Services and Training Expo for my company. And I built the contact form, registration form, and that's been working out really well. We got uh, 10 registrations today. I don't know if you guys have ever done email lists, uh, but when you're emailing people about an event, it's best to kind of taper your invitations. Or if you're trying to do any kind of marketing, uh, what I'll do is we'll send an email two months before the event, then we'll do it a month before the event, then we'll do it like two weeks and then a week and then a, like a couple days. So we'll consolidate the email slowly as it gets closer and closer to the event date. Uh, and make sure you always are using the calls to action. This was a big mistake when I was in marketing. Have a good landing page, but always have a call to action. Say like, register now or hurry up before it's too late. I know stuff sounds tacky, but it works. You know, it gives people a sense of urgency. Uh, and then you have to walk them through the process. Make sure it's very easy for them to get to where you want them to go. Uh, that's, that's the art of conversion. It depends on the market you're in. It depends on what their expectations are. Uh, but today I sent out an email that said, uh, register now before it's too late, you know, but it's true. I mean, because registration is limited. There's a few, there's a, we have training. So there's a number of demo units we have 
So there's only so many people who can be in a certain class. So if you give it that sense of urgency and you send that out, people are more inclined to just say, okay, I'll take the five minutes just to do it now. That way my seat's reserved. And within, within 10 minutes, 20 minutes of sending out the email, we got five or six new registrations. And it was that call to action sense of urgency. It hit their inbox and they're like, okay, better make this a priority and, and go out there. Um, so, so that was really, it's a great way to do it if you guys are into that kind of thing. Um, other stuff that's going on this week, uh, should be an interesting week. It's a Monday. Phone was ringing off the hook. Uh, as you guys know, with my online show, the Craig the Tech Teacher and all this, I get 20, 30, 40 questions a day usually from people. And over the weekend, it's crazy. I get in on Monday and I've just got a whole slew of content that I have to go through and people to help. Uh, and, and that's pretty cool, uh, especially from the patron side, because I can actually... Patrons get kind of my undivided attention out of the box, but I've got like three or four people in my queue now. They want me to help go over their site. Uh, one of them is actually my sister-in-law who became a patron, and she uh, is building her photography service, and she's incredibly talented, uh, and she has a website called Ashley Beige Photography, uh, and she recently changed her WordPress theme. So as a patron, I'm going to actually go in, not just because she's my sister-in-law, but I would do this for all my patrons. Uh, I'm going to go in and help her with getting that website exactly the way that she wants it uh and it it's and maybe i'll help you guys you know i'll bring you guys in on that you know as i'm kind of working on it and that's kind of what this is all about it's kind of making you guys part of this um and in the business world you're always trying to make decisions on what deserves your time what doesn't deserve your time and that's why you should always have a to-do list always have a to-do list and if you have to every morning come in and say what am i going to try to get done today but if it's anything like today You'll probably get nothing done because every time you start to do something, you get interrupted with something else that's a little more difficult and a little more urgent than what you might be working on. So thank you, patrons, for getting us past that first goal. Uh, Jacob Williams, I appreciate you coming out, and I'm really excited about the future of the show. One more thing I wanted to throw out there, and I wanted to get your guys' feedback on this, patrons especially, thinking about killing off Ask the Tech Teacher, um, I love doing it. Uh, I'm kind of not at a stage in my life, though, where I can really put myself out there at a reasonable time for you guys live. I'm thinking about replacing it with the Craig Teaches series. I don't know if you guys have been following, but I've been doing this tutorial where I walk you through a book uh, and we go in depth on a certain topic. And this Craig Teaches series I'm working on now is the Craig Teaches, Win Craig Teaches Windows 8.1. And I'm walking you through the O'Reilly Missing Manual book. And the idea is to teach you guys everything you need to know about that specific topic. And it'll be on video. Uh, and then move on to the next book. Um, so for the next goal for patrons, it's to make that a permanent part of the show instead of Ask the Tech Teacher. And maybe when my kids get a little older and I've got a little more free time during the evenings and their schedules for going to sleep aren't so crazy, I can re reveal a live show at a reasonable hour because uh, the toughest thing now is the only time I could do it was Sunday nights at 10 p.m. A lot of people were really, really disappointed they couldn't make it. So I don't know if my schedule really currently accommodates a reasonable live um, section. Um, I still might make exceptions and do interviews, of course. Uh, and I'd like to have Jacob Williams, since he's a, one of the major patrons now, I'd like to have him on the show as well. So anyways, thank you guys for coming out. And again, stay tuned all week. We got a ton of stuff going on. I'm excited about this week. It's going to be a great week. Very productive. Lots of things to do. And uh, stay tuned to the show because uh, there's a lot of other stuff. We're going to continue in the Windows 8 series. We're going to continue in IT Life. And we're going to continue in the Craig Teaches. I already did that one. We're going to continue with all of the other fun that we might have. As always, until next time, message me. Email me. Ping me. We'll have some more fun.